King Horem Hape, Joe Sir Keeper Re. Reigned from 1348 to 1320 BC. King Horem Hape was regarded by the authors of both the Abydos and Saktara King lists as the first king after Amenhotep III, while the kings Akhenaten, Sminker, and Tutankhamun were purposefully left out because of their ties to the Atenism. Serving as the main commander of the Egyptian forces, Horem Hape was the driving force behind King I's rule. Because there being no rightful heir, he was able to take the throne of Egypt with ease after his death due to the lack of a legitimate heir. Horem Hape was able to regain the country's stability through military force after marrying Princess Mut Nejmet, the sister of Queen Nefertiti. Given that Horem Hape believed Akhenaten and his followers to be atheists, he had the temples and shrines they had constructed demolished and their stones used to fill the three pylons he had built in the Karnak complex, the second to the west, the ninth, and the tenth to the south. Horem Hape was unaware that that with this act of revenge he had spared these buildings and their stones from destruction by carrying out this act of retaliation. Even though he did not live long enough to see the images and inscriptions on his first tomb, which he had built at Zaktara when he was still an officer, Horem Hape abandoned it and built another worthy of his position as the country's king in the Valley of the Kings. We also know the account of his trip to Thebes to be formally crowned king, thanks to a stunning statue of him and his wife in the Turin Museum. Additionally, there is a stela of Karnak that, despite its distortions, describes the steps the king took to ensure justice in the country by shielding the weak from the strong and the impoverished from the wealthy. These are the texts commonly referred to as the laws of Horem Hape. In the 27th year of his reign, Horem Hape passed away and was buried in the Valley 